Hello and welcome to Close Guitars Tech Series. My name is Ian Klosowiak, one of the designers of these guitars, and today we're going to be talking about replacing your battery in your guitar. So just some background, this is what the Fishman pickup looks like. It's got the battery wire, it's got the under saddle pickup wire, which goes underneath the saddle right here, and we've got the jack, which goes to the back of your guitar. Some other background information is uh, we've got this Velcro battery pack, which is actually stuck permanently to the sidewall of your guitar, and you will have this flap that you're going to have to open. And I'll talk about that a little bit more in a second. First thing you want to do is you want to grab a capo, and you want to take this capo, put it on the first fret, and the reason is you don't want your strings flopping all over. We have to detune the strings a little bit. Uh, most people don't have a small enough to hand to stick inside the sound hole without detuning a little bit, so that's what we have to do. We put the capo on so that you don't mess with the, with the strings in the nut and the coils in the strings around the machine heads. So, I'm going to take a string winder and I'm going to detune the strings. You don't have to detune them all the way, just enough to reduce the tension to have enough access. Okay, now that the tension is low, I'm going to stick my hand in. I'm going to separate the strings a little bit. Stick my hand in and pull the battery out of that Velcro bag. And this is what it looks like. You then unsnap the battery like that. You grab a new battery, you stick it on there, and you're going to put it right back in with how you found it. Uh, just some more information. You're going to have to remove the flap this way, in this direction. You're going to have to do it blindly, so uh, it's, it's actually very easy. You just have to put the battery in like this, close the flap, run your fingers a couple times over the Velcro to make sure that it's closed, and then you're set. Another thing you want to do is make sure that the wire is pointing down. If the wire is pointing up, it could touch the soundboard and cause some unwanted uh, vibration. So. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do right now. Alright, I'm all set with the battery. Uh, before I tighten the strings up, I'm just going to take a look inside, make sure that the wires are in the right place and I didn't move anything around. It all looks good. The next thing I'm going to do is grab my string winder and start winding the strings back up. At this point you want to make sure that you don't tighten them too much because you could easily pop a string without being careful. So I'm just going to tighten them a little bit. I'm going to then take the capo off and then grab a tuner and uh, tune them completely. All right, now that the tension is up a little bit higher, I take the capo off, and now I'm ready to finish the tuning with a tuner. Thanks for watching our video. Uh, we invite you to watch some of our other videos and subscribe to our channel. Thanks, and see you next time.